So Rachel is an absolute leader. Um, people kind of circle around her. She she leads the acapella group incredibly well. It's very very popular at the school. We actually have a her acapella group, and then we have a group of kids who want to be in her acapella group who have you know the other group um, because it's just it's so fabulous. They just perform for over a thousand people at a very very um, amazing community event. Rachel is always that kid where if something isn't fair or just, you know, she'll take care of it respectfully and it even will stretch to situations where the, it gets unfairness or injustices, you know, to her benefit. And an example of that is I think every teacher has had a situation where they've graded, you know, to the student's advantage, maybe they forgot to take off a point here or there that they should have. And Rachel is that kid who always, this has happened several times, she'll say, you know, hey, I'm really sorry, but, you know, this was wrong. You didn't take off that point, which I think is pretty amazing. Honesty is my best policy, honestly. Um, I don't feel that I should get the grade unless I deserved it. So, like, I, we have, like, an online grading thing, so I went on the thing and I was like, oh, I got a higher grade than I actually did. So I think it's dishonest. You know, if I expect my teachers to be honest with me, I ex I'm expected to be honest with them. There was a situation that happened to me that had to do with assault. And um, I was very uncomfortable with it. And I went home and for a while I hid out my home and I said like, you know, I need to just stay away from this. But then I kind of realized that this whole thing is bigger than myself. Um, so I realized there's a lot of girls and women who are affected by this, and even men. So I just felt that I need to do something about it. So I went to my neighbor and we have started a self-defense class. I need to get the message out there. And you know, there are things you can do to prepare for assaults like this, like emotionally and physically. Like you need to learn what I'm doing in a lot of my classes and I'm teaching them the intelligence of it. Like, you know, always walk with a buddy and, you know, and then we're going from there, we're going from physical things, how to like actually like defend yourself like that. Um, one of the things is that it's never that person's fault. Like, that's a huge thing that I think people are like, well, you shouldn't have worn that or you shouldn't have, been. like, that's never an excuse. I think that just kind of like how my parents raised me, and I think it's kind of, I owe that to them. They've always taught me to care about people and kind of put every, like, people before me, you know, like, not in a bad way, but just like, always put out a helping hand and always be there for people. So I think that a lot of times when I see people struggling, like I feel like it's my job to just go and help them. I think integrity means not giving up and I think it means passion and I think that means hope. Like I think that if you have integrity, you need to be aware that, you know, failing is okay and getting on, getting on your feet again is the goal. So Rachel's a rock star. I'm so excited. One day I'll say, hey, I knew her back when. I don't know what exactly she'll end up doing, but I'm sure it'll be amazing. Cottage bar.